Now in this lecture, we're going to discuss the third version of four electron densities and this time we're going to have two lone pairs and two bonding pairs. So we're going to have two pairs of electrons that are not bonding, that are present in the outer shell and there are two pairs of electrons that are part of a bond. So again, uh, you have a total of four electron densities, four groups of electrons. And uh, the basic shape is going to be, it's going to be based on this tetrahedral shape. So remember we started off with this tetrahedral shape. The only difference is now uh, two bonds, uh, instead of two bonds, we're going to have uh, two places where they're going to be lone pairs and two places where we're going to have bonding pairs of electrons. So an example for this is, uh, one example for this is a water molecule. Now if I draw a water molecule, water has two bonds it makes two bonds with uh, hydrogen so that's one bond and I'm making the other bond and it's basically I'm following the same pattern of this uh, four electron density pattern the tetrahedral geometry so I'm following that pattern now the thing is that uh, there's going to be a hydrogen bonded uh, so there are two hydrogen atoms bonded to oxygen but now the problem is that oxygen has a total of six electrons in its outer shell. It's in group six. So one electron is being shared over here. One is shared over here. So there are two lone pairs. So instead of having these two bonding pairs of electrons, oxygen, on the other hand, is going to have two pairs of electrons that are not bonding. So there's going to be a lone pair over here and there's going to be a lone pair over here. Remember, these were the places uh, where in a tetrahedral shape you had a bond going into the page and a bond that was going upwards. Now uh, instead of these bonds we are going to have these lone pairs. So the shape is exactly the same but now it's going to look something like this and remember I told you that lone pairs don't count in shape because there's nothing bonded to the other side. So basically you're, the only, you're only left with two bonds. So the geometry of the atom is like this. One bond going over here and one coming over here. So there are two atoms attached in this way, two atoms attached in this way, and there's nothing over here and there's nothing, no bond, no atom attached on the other side. So it's simply a bent shape, a V-shaped molecule. So this geometry would be called a bent or a V-shaped, or you can also call it a non-linear shape. And the angles that the two hydrogen atoms would be making would be 104.5 degrees. The reason why the angle is smaller now is, and I've previously discussed this as well, lone pairs are not bonding to anything, so the electrons are not scattered. The negative charge is very concentrated. So lone pairs always exert a much greater force or repulsion. And these lone pairs are going to repel these bonds and they're going to push these bonds closer together. So the angles in the previous tetrahedral shape, the angles were 109.5 degrees between all the electron densities. But now the angle is going to be, it's going to be 104.5. It's going to decrease from 109.5. So let's do another example. And uh, sulfur with fluorine an SF2 molecule, uh, again it's making single bonds with two fluorines, one bond like that, one bond coming out of the page and there would be two lone pairs, sulfur would have, sulfur has a total of six electrons, so two are bonding and there are two lone pairs. Now again the shape is going to be exactly the same, it's going to be exactly the same shape, a tetrahedral arrangement. Uh, but instead of two bonds, I have two lone pairs and the shape would be then called a bent shape because there's nothing, no atom attached on these sides, although there are electron densities on that side, but nothing attached. So it's going to be a V-shaped molecule and the angles are going to be 104.5 degrees. Now let's try another example of, uh, of this bent shape, two lone pairs and two bonding pairs. So I'm going to take an ether, a dimethyl ether. So the formula of that molecule is CH3, followed by an oxygen atom in between and another methyl group. So I'm going to try and figure out how uh, this molecule will be bonded. So around the oxygen atom, there are two methyl groups bonded. So there's uh, one carbon bonded and there's going to be another carbon atom bonded to it. So, so that is the bent V-shape that I have uh, shown above. So this is around this oxygen atom because this oxygen atom has two lone pairs 
and two bonding pairs of electron oxygen has a total of six electrons so two are involved in bonds whereas four electrons are left behind in the outer shell and the rest of the group uh, is the methyl group so uh, there are three hydrogens and since there are four uh, bonds so this shape would be tetrahedral around this carbon atom so one bond coming out of the page and one going into the page and similarly this CH3 would also be tetrahedral so it would be one bond another bond and a third bond going into the page so that's also tetrahedral and all the angles are going to be 109.5 but we are focusing on this angle right now around the oxygen atom so since there are two lone pairs and two bonding pairs so the shape around the oxygen atom is bent and the angle that is being formed between the bonds it's going to be 104.5 degrees now i'm going to try and do the example of a of an ethanol molecule which is uh, ch3 ch2 and has an oh group now firstly i'm going to focus on this oxygen over here this oxygen is bonded to to a carbon atom so there's a carbon atom bonded to it and it's bonded to a hydrogen atom so so that hydrogen atom would be forming because this oxygen has two lone pairs around it so it's going to be arranged in a bent manner it's going to be bent and v-shaped and the angle that uh, uh, the bonds would be making around the oxygen atom these angles would be 104.5 degrees so the angle is 104.5 degrees so this is around the oxygen atom and then I'm going to focus on this carbon over here. This carbon over here is making uh, a total of uh, it's making a total of of five or four bonds. So it's going to be a tetrahedral shape with one bond going into the page one and one bond coming out of the page around this carbon atom. So let's say that these this there's a hydrogen atom attached over here. There's a hydrogen atom attached over here. And moving on, so this is around this carbon atom, the shape is going to be tetrahedral because you have four bonding pairs of electrons. And then finally, you have uh, this last carbon atom. So this carbon atom is also, this last carbon atom is also making, it's making four bonds. So the, we have to make three more bonds with hydrogen. So it's making four bonds. So the shape is going to be tetrahedral. So one bond would be coming out of the page. So one bond is coming out of the page and one would be going into the page. So let's focus on the bond. This oxygen over here, it has two lone pairs and two bonding pairs of orbitals. Uh, so these electrons and these bonds would be making a bench shaped uh, and the angle would be 104.5 degrees.